What is up guys, Aerof Mora here back again with another video and today we'll be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Avengers Endgame build a figure Hulk. So let's get build in. Now doing a lot of comparisons here, starting off, this is what the Build-A-Figure Hulk is next to the Age of Ultron on the right and then the uh, First Avengers on the left. Also the Thor Ragnarok Build-A-Figure on the left and then the Age of Ultron on the right from the 2-pack with Hulkbuster. So comparing these sculpts here from the first two Avengers to the Endgame Hulk, you can see how much taller uh, Endgame Hulk is, even though in the movie he seemed a bit smaller than the previous Hulks. But just looking at the sculpts here, you can see uh, how much has improved from the first Avengers 1 with those weird back muscles all the way up to Endgame. They kind of improved the muscles through the, um, the course of the Age of Ultron movie and then the Thor Ragnarok um, film. And you can see how much more defined the muscles are uh, in Endgame. And you can see it's much more uh, proportionate to the human body when it's all bulked up in muscle unlike the first two now comparing it to the uh, Ragnarok one the build a figure one you can see it's uh, almost um, the same size it's just a little bit taller here I thought it would be the same torso uh, it looks like the back from the Ragnarok and the Age of Ultron seem kind of similar uh, they kind of improve the uh, muscles here a little bit giving him more bulk compared to the um, uh, end game one you can see the um, the biceps and triceps here are a little bit thicker, I guess for that more uh, brooding force of Hulk being in space for a long time. And you can see how much they improved from the Age of Ultron to Ragnarok with the uh, uh, torso area and then from Ragnarok to Endgame. Zooming along past the body sculpts and moving over to the head sculpts, you can see how much bigger the head sculpts have gotten compared to the first Avengers one. They drastically got bigger through the years. By the time Avengers like 15 comes out, we might have a uh, Funko sized uh, Hulk head. So be on the lookout for that. But just comparing the head sculpts here, it has improved drastically. The closest that we got into a Mark Ruffalo head sculpt was the Age of Ultron. Um, other than that, the uh, Ragnarok looked like crap. And with this Endgame one, they improved drastically with the new digital printing tech. And you can see the ball, um, ball holes right there have gotten smaller through the years. So that's that. Now with all these heads, we're going to do some head swappings here. So showing you what the first Avengers looks like on the Endgame one. That's what that looks like. The Age of Ultron one. That's what that looks like. The other Age of Ultron one. The Thor Ragnarok one. And that's pretty much it. Now zooming out here, if you want to see the Professor Hulk on the first Avengers, there you go. The Age of Ultron, the other Age of Ultron, and Thor Ragnarok with the helmet if you want. And finally, for some size comparisons here, here's Build-A-Figure Hulk next to other Build-A-Figure figures like Call Obsidian, Regular Thanos, Armored Thanos, Giant Man, as well as the Hulkbuster right here, including the new Avengers on the right, I guess you could say, as well as the rest of the Black Order, including Thor, Loki, and Valkyrie, as well as the six original Avengers right there, which look really nice, even more Avengers, and also more Avengers, including Hela. So there you go. Hulk does not come with any accessories but does come with an alternative head sculpt so this is kind of a more neutral sad look to me. Uh, it still has a great likeness to Mark Ruffalo here. You can see they got some gray on the sides of the head here which is a nice touch. I like the sculpting in the hair here and looking at the top of the head I really like what they did with the um, I guess you could say these spikes on the top of the head and that's nicely sculpted as well. And looking at it it says B2 and I'm guessing the, uh, the smiling one is um, the first head sculpt that they initially went with for promotional images uh, but just comparing those two you can see pretty much the same sculpt in the hair here and yeah and this is what it looks like on the figure and so doing a closer look at Hulk here starting off with that beautiful Mark Ruffalo head sculpt finally we got a Hulk that looks like a Hulk from the movie um, all praise aside uh, great digital printing tech and great uh, head sculpt here 
Uh, one thing to note that is uh, looking at both of the head sculpts here, it has a matted texture to it. So it doesn't have a glossy finish as the, um, the rest of the body. The colors are pretty much exactly the same. It's just that they kind of used a matte paint on the head sculpt and kind of a glossy finish or the glossy uh, look on the torso. So it doesn't match in certain lighting conditions. But looking at the rest of the body here, look at all those texture details and veins. It just, it's very nice. Also inside the little crevices here of the joints, they just added a lot of texturing. Not as much in the hands here, but that is okay. Looking at it, just those muscle definitions are great. See some veins here on the shoulders here, the biceps right there. Looking at it, also as the forearm, nice sculpt on the open hand right there. Got some uh, wrinkles on the knuckles right there, which is nice. Nice veins popping out. You can see some nice detail right there. Texturing goes throughout the whole figure uh, on the green parts as well. And you can see that muscle definition back there, which looks really nice. One thing to gripe about, I don't know if this is my figure, that there is a gap right there. Kind of bothers me a little bit when taking pictures, but that is okay. Um, I guess you could Photoshop that out, but uh, looking at the pants here, nice texturing detail, has this metallic purple to it, dark purple. These pants look like they're from the Thor Ragnarok Hulk from the end of the movie when he hulked out. These pants look exactly, almost exactly the same with the how they ripped in a certain way. I think this was probably the release for the Thor Ragnarok Hulk, but I guess they uh, moved it to Endgame. I don't know, just look at Thor Ragnarok's um, uh, Hulk, uh, Hulk's pants because they look exactly the same. And looking at the texturing detail, goes throughout the legs and calves here as well as the feet. And he has peg holes at the bottom of his feet. For Hulk's articulation here, starting off with the head, kind of a double ball joint. So it does rotate all the way around. It could look up uh, just a little bit and downward that much because of the kind of the dumbbell joint, I guess you could say. Also has some tilty shifty head movement, which is great for some sass and some foreign back movement like so. Arms do rotate all the way around. They bend outward that far. Um, a little up to 90 degrees and inward that much. You also have a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows right there, hulk out. And also the wrists here are on hinges, so they do rotate all the way around. They've been up that far, down that much. Same thing with the open end here, has a hinge, so it does rotate all the way around. Do the Iron Man pose right there and downward that much. Now the torso here has great articulation, so you can bend forward that far, which is pretty good. Back a lot like that which is great and you got some dynamic movements right there from side to side like so and has a this nice clean look to it when articulating it and also 360 degree rotation right there and also a waist rotation which rotates all the way around legs can kick forward that far so it can kind of sit down i wish you can uh, kick farther than that back not that much also has a upper thigh swivel right there double jointed knees which are pretty stiff right there um, that is okay and feet bend downward that far which is great up that much which is okay would have been nice if he had more range in there also has the ankle pivot uh, legs move outward that far and doing the ankle pivot test he is good to go so yeah, that is it guys. Hope you guys like it. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell, turn on notifications because there are more videos coming. Okay, so this will be uploaded on July 2nd. So that's when Spider-Man Far From Home comes out. So hopefully you enjoy that movie. By the time I see it, I'll see it July 1st, which is yesterday at midnight because I'm going to see the midnight release. So by the time i'm recording and editing this i am actually doing that on sunday june 30th so right now at this moment that i'm talking tomorrow i will see spider-man far from home at midnight so i haven't seen the movie yet and that will determine if i buy the figures or not but if you still want to see me um get those figures and, and review them just leave a comment i'll eventually get around to them soon enough uh, but yeah, overall, uh, this is probably the best Hulk figure that we get. Uh, Accuracy-wise, proportion-wise, it's probably the best um, visually pleasing to look at because it just looks so epic and accurate to Endgame and all the other Hulks because this, this could be a good base uh, body mold for a Hulk figure, a Hulk movie figure. Uh, but yeah, uh, minor gripes here and there like the gappage on his uh, torso and... Uh, 
uh, pants area and I don't know if it's on my copy but uh, the legs are pretty loose on mine um, and also I wish that they gave him a, a screaming head or an angry head and some glasses to fit the whole uh, Smart Hulk look uh, but hopefully the uh, Marvel Legends Wave 3 will give us the Hulk in the onesie and the Infinity Gauntlet or the Nano Gauntlet so yeah uh, probably my favorite wave but there are only two uh, or only one figure that I didn't like as much which was Ruck Python but the rest are okay so yeah that is it guys hope you guys like it Air off world. This is the sign out. Peace.